Here we go for Butch Lightsinger. Let's get my questions pulled up. Let's see. Good. Is this this is Butch Lightsinger, right? That's correct. Yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah, good. Thanks. How about yourself? Oh wait, say that again. Oh, I, I'm I'm doing well. How about yourself? Oh, I'm I'm doing really good. Things are going well so far this year. Good. Yeah. How are you doing with this whole virus thing? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting through it. You know, and um, of course we're like we're. You know, on lockdown with the, uh, you know, with the, my wife and kids, and trying to do the homeschooling and all that. But uh, we're, we're getting through it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Don't you have a degree in business? Yes, yeah, uh, business management. Yeah, I thought I'd tell you that I'm studying business myself. All oh, right. Oh, 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 where are you studying? A uh, university of the people. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard Excellent. of it? I haven't actually. No, is, is, uh, is, is that is that a uh, uh, what do you what do you call it? Um, what, like, I can think what they call it. The uh, like, like re remote. Uh, it's um, online. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, and and uh, it's tuition free. They only charge oh. for the tests. Oh right. Yeah, you might want to look into that for your kids eventually. Right. Right. Now, I know a lot of the like the. I, I live in a university down here, Penn State University, and I know they've uh, started to shift a lot more towards uh, uh, online learning, even before the coronavirus. Very interesting. So yeah, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an author and a YouTube star. All right. Yeah, and, and I, I also am a screenwriter. As well as, uh, let me think if there's others. Oh yeah, I'm also involved in a number of charities for autism awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very good. Because I have Asperger's disorder. Oh, I see. Yeah, but it's not stopped me from achieving things, you know what I mean? Well, obviously not. It's also, <laughs> you have know, you know, quite a long list of, uh, of accomplishments. Yeah, and... A few years back, I kind of went through a rough patch in my life, and it was when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the teenage rebellion stage in your life, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's, a, that's, a, that's an awkward stage for all of us. Yeah, for sure, and every year I always get smarter, and I'm kind of like, why did I do the things I did back then? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sometimes you wish you had a, little, you had a way to kind of blank all that out, so that you know, the, the memories didn't come crash again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and and I kind of view the same way with growing up. Like I remember some of the stupid things I once said, like calling a woman fat, you know. And it's like kids say the darndest things. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Right. I mean, just, uh, I'll put people don't remember that but, uh, I hope so too I hope they don't remember it but I look back wondering why did I say the say say the stuff I said you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah I have a list of questions that hopefully you have the answer for and uh, they're about your involvement in motor racing sure yeah so where are you originally from I'm actually from the, the town of State College in, in Pennsylvania Ooh, so that's the name of the area, State College. Yeah, it's a pretty un, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, unimaginative name for the town. It's a it's a, it's a university town in, in Pennsylvania, and so they they call it State College. Oh well, that's a good name for it, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm from Estes Park, Colorado. Oh really? Uh, where is that? Uh, that's in uh, that's in that's just next to the Rocky Mountain National Park. Oh, right on. It must be beautiful out there. Yeah, there was a lot of wilderness, and I grew up in the wilderness, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your real name? Uh, my real name is Robert. Ah, how'd you get your nickname Butch? Uh, I think I was kind of just a fat uh, little, little blob of a baby, and I, and I guess somehow <laughs> I kind of seemed like a Butch. Yeah, I remember that 
when I was in grade school, back when I was in middle school, back when I was still kind of a rebellious person, I used to call a girl that I didn't like butch without realizing <laughs> that without realizing that it means the same thing as the B word. <laughs> Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Again, kids say the darndest things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My nickname is uh, Bug or Doug. All right. Yeah. How long have you, how long, how long have you had that? Was that the, the, since childhood? Yeah, and at first I did not like being called Bug, but I got used to it as time went on. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, actually. I like that. Yeah. And people called me the bug in high school because I was a prankster, kind of. All right, all right. Yeah. What made you get into motor racing? Uh, actually, like, I grew up with it. My, my, my dad raced. Uh, so, you know, my, my first memories are being at the racetrack. And, uh, you know, all through school and, uh, you know, like, pretty much, like, all of our vacations were basically racing vacations, going to... Uh, you know, it's, it's different races, and uh, yeah. So, so you know, being uh, a race car driver was all I ever wanted to do. Uh, uh, I, I didn't really know how it was going to happen, but uh, you know, but that's that's like the the goal that I had from from when I was three years old. Ah, very glad you got to achieve that goal. Mm, yes. I got involved because my grandfather was a fan, and he attended the Indy 500, where A.J. Foyt won his fourth 500. All oh, right, yes. So A.J. Foyt was his hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, who was your biggest